So determine the value of sine A plus B. And you're probably given a formula sheet that will tell you that sine A plus B is equal to the sine A times the cosine of B plus the cosine of A times the sine of B. Okay, so right away, I actually already know what sine of A is. It's just 4 over 5. And I also know what the cos of B is. It's just negative 2 over 3. And these are multiplying. But I don't know the cos of A and the sine of B. And how can we determine them? Well, I'll just start with a right triangle here. And I'll call this angle A. Remember Sokotoa, of course. I'll just write it out here just in case, just in case you have forgotten. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 4 over 5 in this case, right? Because A is here, so that's the opposite. Now, I need to know the adjacent in order to determine the cosine of A. Because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, through Pythagoras, I can easily find that this is 3, right? Because 5 squared plus, whoops, equals 4 squared plus question mark squared. 25 equals 16 plus question mark squared. Subtract 16, I get 9 equals question mark squared. Root both sides, and I get 3. Great. Now, remember one thing also. In the first quadrant, all of sine, cosine, and tangent are positive. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive, cosine and tangent are negative. And we know that angle A is in the second quadrant. So we know that cos of A will be negative, because cosine in the second quadrant is negative. And cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 3 over 5. That's it. Now, how about the sine of B? Let's do the same thing. Let's just draw out a right triangle here. There we go. Well, that's not very well drawn, but hopefully you get the idea. And uh, I know that right now I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna ignore the negative here. You'll just take cosine of B as two over three. The adjacent, let's let's say that's angle B. The adjacent to the hypotenuse is three. Now we need to use Pythagoras to determine the opposite side. So 3 squared equals 2 squared plus question mark squared. 9 equals 4 plus question mark squared. I subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. 5 equals question mark squared. So root both sides, that measures just the square root of 5. And I know that sine will be positive in the second quadrant. And angle B is also in the second quadrant. So that'll be a positive value. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposites root 5. And the hypotenuse is 3. Look at that. Now we can evaluate all of this. We can just rather simplify it. That's what I meant. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 5 times 3, 15. Then over here, I have negative 3 times root 5. Negative 3 root 5 all over 5 times 3, 15. We have a common denominator of 15. And I get negative 8 minus 3 root 5. And that's it. Can we simplify this further? No, we cannot. So I'll just leave it like that. And um, you could plug it into the calculator to, to figure out what this really is. I think it's going to be approximately. Um, just one quick second. Negative 8 minus 3 root 5 divided by 15. That's approxi approximately negative 0 0.9805. And
that's it.